Hey guys, it's me Lionel from ADHD Aquatics. I'm back and today we are going to make a vinegar eel culture. So it's very easy. So if you bought vinegar eels from me locally, you most likely would have gotten a culture that looks something like this. And this is everything you'll need. I'll put links to the specialty stuff down in the description. You're going to want a long neck bottle some apple cider vinegar and some dechlorinated water so you can use tap water that you let sit out for 24 hours you can use RODI water you can use distilled water you can use um, spring water from the store you want to make sure it's dechlorinated because the chlorine will kill the little vinegar eels Okay, I already have some apple pieces in here just to save us some time. We're going to go about halfway with the apple cider vinegar. And we're going to go halfway with some water. Oh, I might have done too much. Maybe not. We'll find out. Yeah, I did too much. Pretend that didn't happen. And we're back. So we have our apples. We have 50% apple cider vinegar, 50% water. We're gonna take our starter culture that we bought from Lemel. That's me. And we're gonna put it in. Boom. It's done. Now, when it's time to harvest these, this is how you're gonna do it. You're going to get some polyfill or filter floss or stuffing. You, people get this out of pillows, stuffed animals, whatever. I can link a cheap bag of it um, down in the description. You can get it from Walmart too. You put some in like this. And then you want to slowly put some dechlorinated water in. Don't overflow it like we did last time. Oh boy, please don't mess it up. <laughs> okay. Put some in like this. Slowly. Let the air out. And now... Now what's happening is we have filter floss here, all the vinegar and stuff down here, and we have clean dechlorinated water up here. Let this sit anywhere from 12 to 48 hours like this, and the vinegar eels will come up through this filter floss. Get the bubble. It will come up through, and then you take your pipette, or you can use like an oral syringe or anything, and then you just suck them up like this and then you can feed them to your baby fishes like that and that's how you harvest them that's it um thanks for watching see you next time bye <laughs> Wayland, say bye i forgot to mention you're gonna need some sort of lid um that allows air to get through but you don't really want animals or bugs or anything else getting through. You could put a paper towel over it with a rubber band, but I like this lid. I'll link a similar lid like this down below. Okay, bye.